Hi, this is Steph Mischuk again. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to a database. And in this case, we're going to use MySQL since it's the most popular database that's used with PHP. Anyhow, we're going to learn how to connect to a database using PHP. PHP provides several different ways that you can use to connect to a database. You have the MySQL package, sort of like a group of functions. Well, it actually is a group of functions. Then you have the MySQL I extension, which is MySQL improved. And then you have PHP PDO and PHP, excuse me, and PairDB. PHP PDO and PairDB are object oriented ways of connecting to MySQL, whereas MySQL and MySQL I have procedural ways. Although MySQL I, which is the improved version of MySQL, does have an object oriented package as well or a set of functions as well. In this video tutorial, my goal is to get you up and running with regards to connecting to MySQL with PHP. So I'm going to use the MySQL method, the first method, and this is the first set of functions that did come with PHP in terms of uh, being able to connect with MySQL. The reason I'm going to use this package or these set of functions is because, well, number one, you're, sh you're going to be sure that with any host that you uh, happen to be hosting with will allow you to use MySQL. That will be enabled. Whereas MySQL I and the other ones, you're never too sure. So this is guaranteed you're going to have access to this or just about. And the second reason I'm going to use this way is because this is the oldest way and it's the easiest way that I know of to connect to MySQL when you start getting into PHP programming and you start getting to perhaps more serious projects, you might find yourself using MySQL I or PHP PDO or something like that. Although I think, I think that it's going to be going towards PHP PDO for various reasons I'm not going to get into now. Before we crack open the PHP part of things, first thing we need to do is get a couple pieces of information about the database we want to connect to. So here I am in PHP my admin and what I want to do is connect to the killer database. So I click on that. We see a one table called people. We're going to keep that in mind later. And, um, and we know we're inside a killer database of course because the breadcrumbs trail tells us so right here. So what we want to do is we want to go into privileges. We want to see what users have access to this database. As we can see here, we only have one user and this user is called root and they have access to the database. We know that because under grant says yes. We know it can do everything because it says all privileges. Let me back up and explain one thing about privileges and users. When you set up a new database in MySQL, so we have killer over here now, but you see, as you can see, we have others here. I set up WordPress and so on. So when you do set up a new database, you can specify, you can create new users. So I could create a new user and I could tell, I could say, okay, this user has access to this particular database here and this user can do X, Y, and Z. So I haven't gone into this before because for purposes of our testing, I just use this default master user called root. So here's something new about MySQL. When you uh, set up a new MySQL system, there's a super user called root that can do just about anything. Actually, they can do anything. Although when you're dealing with a hosting company, you will not have access to the uh, user called root. They'll give you a username and uh, then that user will be able to do everything you wanted to to any database that you create yourself. Anyhow, just understand that to access a database 
through PHP, you need to know what user has access to that particular database and you need to get their so you need to get their username and in this case we're going to use root and you get you get you need to get their password we did not set up a password for user root because this is just a local system this is not a public website if it was a public website that would be just crazy and you would actually need to set up a password again your hosting company would probably set that up for you anyhow so for our pur purposes all we need to pick out is that we want to use the uh, user called root so keep that in mind and let's now look at our PHP code 